Hey everyone, Nat Frankenstein here. Today I will be discussing what I have been watching, reading and playing and my monthly favourites for the month of no uh, November, hello, for the month of December. So if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so let's start with watching, reading, and playing. Um, watching, uh, the things I've been watching on TV lately, um, I've been watching, I've really been getting into a show um, called Epic Inc. Um, it's only just started on, on Foxtel, which is pay TV here in Australia. Um, and I love it and I kind of need to go to this place and get inked. Um, so it's this tattoo shop in Springfield, Oregon, I believe it's called Area 51 Tattoo and oh my god, it's like, uh, it's like geek mecca, like their shop is amazing. It's full of pop culture. Um, references, so a lot of um, Simpsons references, obviously being in Springfield. Um, but there's like, you know, there's they've got a life-size replica of Greta, the gremlin, who I need to get tattooed somewhere on my body. <laughs> um, there's a whole lot of Ninja Turtles stuff. Um, it's, I think that's part of the reason why I love watching this show. It's not just because they're amazing tattooers and, you know, they seem like a bunch of cool people, um, and the work they do is so amazing, but it's because I love looking in the background of every shot and just picking out all these things that I kind of need to have, all these toys and, and artwork, um, you know, and it's all got to do with pop culture, so... I've really been uh, getting into that show. I really, really love it. Another show that I've been watching, I've been watching this show for ages, mind you, but we've only just gotten season, I think it's season four, and that is Dance Moms. Dance Moms! I know, I know. Listen, I'm a sucker for reality TV. I, I always end up bitching about it, but I think that's what like, I think that's a major draw of reality TV is the fact that you're watching real people, kind of everyday people, and you're just like, ooh, if I was in your position, I would do things so different. And, um, but anyway, just not ranting or anything, but, um, I've been watching Dance Moms and, um, wow, this season's really, really been crazy. This is the season, uh, where Abby and Kelly get into a little altercation um, and it's just it's just crazy this season's been really full-on um, but I'm loving it and uh, you know it's I think I watch it less for the the kids and the dancers but more for <laughs> you know the drama that happens with the teacher Abby and and all the dance moms so um, I do. I watch Dance Moms and I love it. I'm not, I'm not afraid to say so. I've also been watching Rick and Morty. I don't know if I've mentioned it in previous videos because I can't keep track of what I talk about. <laughs> but, um, um, I've been watching Rick and Morty. Um, and the creator of it and the guy who does the voices for, I think, both Rick and Morty. Um, you, if you're an Adventure Time fan, you will know he also does the voice of Lemon Grab and I love Lemon Grab. So, um, Rick and Morty is really really funny. It's more of an adult cartoon. Um, I know people can say that Adventure Time is an adult cartoon, but this, um, cartoon specifically, I think is geared towards adults more, um, in that the content matter and the way that, you know, they talk, they talk like adults. So, you know, um, Rick will swear and, you know, it's definitely more for an adult audience, but I really, really love it. It's actually really funny. So, I've really been getting into that. I'm really behind on shows like American Horror Story and Supernatural, so I haven't really been watching those. Um, I think that might be it, you guys. I watched the finale of Ink Master, which was good. Um, you know what, to be honest, like the final three, I just, I really didn't care. I really didn't care about anyone that season. You know, usually you start watching 
especially with Ink Master, you start watching the show and you kind of pick out your favourite or who you think the favourites are and who's going to win. Um, generally, you can pick out someone that you like, but in this season, I was just kind of like, meh. I don't really care about any of them. So I did watch the finale and that was good. Um, waiting, of course, for The Walking Dead to come back. Apparently, oh, Shameless is coming back in January, which I'm so excited about because I love Shameless. Um, what else is coming back? Shameless, The Walking Dead. Um, oh, there was another one. What was it? Shameless, The Walking Dead. Oh, and Banshee's coming back as well, which I'm so excited about because I love, love, love Banshee. So that's pretty much what I've been watching. Um, what I've been reading is nothing. <laughs> like I've mentioned in previous videos, if I can't be bothered reading, I'm not going to read. So <sighs> I have been reading nothing. I have been very bad and not read anything. Uh, that brings me to what I have been playing. Um, I, if you check out my Christmas haul and my Boxing Day haul, you will have uh, seen that I received the Ultimate NES Remix for the 3DS. Um, I am about to start playing this and like I mentioned, I'm going to, um, I'm going to post a review on it um, because it kind of takes all the NES games and mixes them up. So for instance, um, playing the original Donkey Kong, you don't play as Mario, you play as Link. Um, so there's a couple of cool things um, that I think will be interesting to document on Philema. So I will do that. I will do a review on this. Um, uh, so other than that, I really haven't been playing that much. Um, my boyfriend got The Evil Within. I did try playing that. Mind you, I could not even finish like chapter one. I just, I had one go and I'm like, nope, I can't. I'm just, I'm getting mad already. The guy with the chainsaw, he killed me and I'm just like, nope, you play. <laughs> so I gave up quick smart. Um, but I'm really, really liking the way the game is. Um, survival horror games are so cool. So I'm really looking forward to um, seeing how he, my boyfriend progresses in that game. It looks like a lot of fun and maybe if I stop being a baby, I will actually pick up the controller and play it and not get mad when I die <laughs> because it seems like a game in which you would die a lot. So um, that covers watching, reading and playing. Now my favourites for December. Um, you could pretty much say that everything I got for Christmas was my favourite. So if you go and find my Christmas video, my Christmas haul, um, you'll see all the cool stuff that I got for Christmas. I love every little bit of everything that I got. Um, but the other cool things I got for December that I love, 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 um, and that takes me back to my childhood are these. Puppy surprises! I got a puppy surprise. And not just one puppy surprise. I got three of them. So, let me just explain, okay? I, um, back in the 90s, I believe it was the early 90s, um, a product called Puppy Surprise was released. And it was a puppy, and you open her belly, and inside her belly was either three, four, or five puppies. Now, I had one when I was little and I got four puppies. And that's pretty good because really the most common amount of puppies to get was three. So I got four and I was like, yeah, doing pretty good. Then, fast forward to the year 2014. Uh, a couple months ago, I was scrolling online. I don't, I think I might have been watching... I think I was on YouTube actually and I was watching Bin's Toy Bin because I love their, um, all their toy reviews are so cute. Um, and Bin and John were reviewing a puppy surprise and I was just like, oh my god, they're re-releasing this toy. I need one. I just, I need one. And so I found out that there were three, however, they weren't available in Australia yet. So my boyfriend and I went shopping just before Christmas. We happened to go into Toys R Us and by chance, because I would have missed them completely because there was one aisle I didn't go down. And of course the puppy surprises were in that aisle, but we're at the front of the store and 
Um, there was like, you know, a toy bin with all, you know, different kind of toys and stuff in it. And I saw the puppy surprise and I was like, oh my God, oh my God, babe, look, it's a puppy surprise. And um, so we went back into the shop and I went searching for them and I found them all. And of course my boyfriend being the lovely, lovely man that he is, he bought me one. Um, this one is popcorn. Um, so he bought me one and then I was like, oh man, I know there's three of them. I kind of need to get them all. I'm like, well, if you buy me one, I'm like, I'll buy one as well. I'm like, because I, at first I was like, I don't want you to buy it for me. I'll buy it myself. And he insisted to the point where I know I'm not going to win. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, you buy one. And then I bought another one. Um, we also got sugar. She's got purple hair. She's really cute. She reminds me of a mare. And then I happened to mention it to my grandma and because she's amazing, she went and bought me the third one. Zoe. She's all pink with white fur. Uh, white ears on her, uh, white ears, white fur on her ears. So um, those are my three favorite things that I got this month um all the puppy surprises and uh, i don't know whether to tell you how many puppies i got in each or if i should do a video i don't know are you guys interested in seeing me do a puppy surprise video maybe i will because the puppies are really cute so um so i got those three things they're my favorites for December um and of course all my Christmas presents <laughs> that I got they're also my favorites um I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I got that I loved nope I think that's it you guys so make sure to check out my Christmas unboxing day haul because those things I love love loved um they pretty much could be all in this video but I'm not going to show you them again um obviously because they're in that video so um, yeah, that ends my very short, uh, watching, reading, playing and favorites for December video. If you liked it, please don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. I hope you all had a lovely Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, happy Festivus. Um, I just hope you had happy holidays and I hope you have a wonderful new year. I don't know when this video will be up. I'm hoping it's before the new year, but if not, have a lovely new year. Um, and until next time, I'm Natty Frankenstein and I will see you later.